Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm Fritz Hassel Fritz. I hope your day is going splendidly so far. Currently 64 degrees, windy and mostly cloudy here in the valley on this Thursday afternoon. Do you know what time it is? <laughs> of course you do, it's taste test time. <laughs> today, I'm going to try the Universal Yums May 2024 subscription box. Mm. As you may know, I received a six month subscription to Universal Yums as a birthday present. Full disclosure, Universal Yums is not a sponsor of this video. This package arrived in the mail yesterday afternoon. <laughs> I'm really curious what this month's box of goodies will be from. Mm. If you haven't had an opportunity to check out my other Universal Yums videos, uh, please check them out. I think you'll enjoy them. <laughs> Woohoo! I really like the design on the box. Very vibrant blue and white. <clears throat> All right, get the tape off. Oh. It's unboxing time. Oh, hey, hey. <clears throat> right, yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Thailand. Wow, I love the artwork on here. Very vibrant, colorful. A nice little booklet here that has some interesting facts and tidbits about Thailand and also a little summary of all the snacks that are included in the box descriptions looks like there's also some trivia in here local points of interest historical landmarks to visit Woo! I've never been there, but I would love to visit someday. It looks like also a recipe that's involved. And finally, all of the nutrition facts from the items in the box. Ah! Woo! It's exciting. Expanding my taste palette. Mmm, taste buds. Woo! Ah, Thailand. The land of smiles. The nickname comes not only because the citizens are usually cheerful, but also because of their philosophy. My Tenre, forgive me if I pronounce that wrong, meaning no problem or no worries. This mindset encourages Thai people to deal with challenges positively and move through frustrations quickly. Interestingly, Thailand has 13 different types of smiles, each with their own unique name. For instance, Yim Tang Nam Te translates to I'm so happy I could cry. And Twain Yim implies laughing out of courtesy, even if the joke wasn't funny. Given the high regard for smiling and positivity, it's unsurprising that joyous celebrations are significant in Thai culture. The Thai New Year, known as Songkran, 
is marked by the world's largest water gun fight. While it's fun, while it's all fun and games on the surface, just like the Thai smile, the celebration holds a deeper meaning. Washing off the misfortunes of the past year. As the weather begins to warm up, consider doing the same by washing away any negativity you experienced over the winter months, preferably via water gun fight. Hmm. Hmm. Intriguing. Learning something new. First timer, before you dive right into snacking, we've got some sweet tips to help spice up your universal yums adventure. Grab a pen. Turn over the map to start rating snacks on the yum scoreboard. There's the weirdest yum waiting for you. <laughs> Turn on the tunes. We put together a playlist representing Thailand's varied music scene. When you're finished, turn to the back of the booklet to let us know what you thought of your trip to Thailand. Look, I also have some stickers in the box. Whoa. All right, yeah, taste test time. <laughs> First up on today's te taste test journey is the Glendy Coconut Chips. Co chocolate flavor. Mm. Coconut chips with chocolatey goodness. Breakfast in Thailand. Jok. A sticky rice porridge cooked in coconut cream. Lunch, Tom Kagi, a spicy chicken soup made with coconut milk. Dinner, Kain, K O N. Forgive me if I pronounced that wrong. I don't speak the language. A green curry made with coconut milk and hot green chilies. <laughs> to put it simply, coconuts are a common part of meals in Thailand. Given the versatility of coconut, it's no surprise that it's a common snack ingredient as well. A cocoa dusted, nicely crunchy, subly sweet, Snack at that. Uh, 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 yeah. Woo. This 1.41 ounce pouch has an expiration date of January 9th, 2025. Mm. Full, di full disclosure. Attention. Green Day Global Co. LTD is not a sponsor of this video. The country of Thailand is not a sponsor of this video. Hmm. The state, U.S. state of New Jersey is not a sponsor of this video. <laughs> hmm. I really love the packaging. It's very light. It reminds me of a coconut that's been uh, cut in half. Hmm. Look like leaves around the outside. Open up the pouch. Let's see what's in there. Big boy. Hmm. 
Oh. Oh, it smells like almond joy. Mm. Or yeah. Wow, look at this. Little strips of uh, coconut like covered in cocoa. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Very, very crunchy. Mm. Fresh and decadent. Mm. Oh. Very strong coconut taste. Mm. Mm hmm. Very chewy, crunchy. Mm. It tastes exactly like a mound candy bar. If that candy bar, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> had been deep had been dehydrated but still retaining the classic texture and the flavor profile mm. coconut meshes well with the cocoa it's not overpowering it's not overly sweet mm. cocoa is fresh mm. not stale at all the jaw is getting a really good workout because it's so crispy and then it's so chewy. Mm. If you like chocolate covered coconut, I think this will be a big hit. Mm. Oh, so decadent. Mm. Wonderful flavor profile, spot on coconuts. Mm. Very satisfying initial crunch. Mm. Ooh. Not as uh, fatty as I thought it would be. Mm. Wow. Considering this has uh, 14 grams of sugar, <laughs> it's not as sweet as I thought it would be. Mm. It also has 16 grams of fat, and this patch. This pouch is 40 grams. Woo! All right, yeah. <laughs> mm. Delectable. Mm. Oh. I think this would be a great topping to put on an ice cream float or a banana split. Mm. Coconut shavings. Or even just on their own as a snack. Very, very satisfying, tantalizing. Mm. Mm, Mouthful of saliva. Mm. Ah. On a scale of 1 to 10, I will give the Glen D coconut chips chocolate fla flavor. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll give these. <coughs> I'll give these a solid 9.37. Wow. What a treat. Mm. You need to uh, wash it down a little bit. It, it's dry after chewing for so long. Ah, there we go. Mm. All right, yeah. Starting off with the dessert. <laughs> Next up on the docket here on this taste test extravaganza is the big roll grilled seaweed barbecue oh my super crunchy with the sweet bbq barbecue zing something about this yum is unexpected 
including its origin story. The man behind it, Ithipat Paradi Chapin, pardon me if I pronounced that wrong, was a teenager when he made his first million bot parentheses about twenty-eight thousand dollars in parentheses selling chestnuts on the street. A few years after his first success came another. Tom noticed his girlfriend eating plain dried seaweed and thought it could use an upgrade. He took that plain seaweed and fused it with classic Thai flavors and the rest is history. Today his company Tao K Noi makes billions of seaweed snacks in Thailand. This is the most iconic flavor. And he's become a millionaire many, many times over. His role, big man. Oh my. I love the packaging. It's very vibrant. It really catches my eye. How oh, no, you know, a big roll grilled seaweed. Full disclosure, I am not a fan of seaweed. I think it, it tastes like the bottom of the ocean. It's so vile. But I will give this brand a try and see if the barbecue flavoring seasoning covers up the seaweed base. Full disclosure, uh, let's see. Tao K. Noi is not a sponsor of this video. This 0 0.1 ounce pouch has an expiration date of March 25th, 2025. Mm, it's a roll. It's a roll in the pouch. <laughs> la 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Time to open. <clears throat> oh, mm. that is a very a strong seaweed aroma. Uh, oh my gosh. Ah, oh. very, very dark green. Uh, really sticky. I see you. Oh boy. Cheers, everybody. If you've tried this, please let me know in the comments what your assessment of it is. Yeah, cheers. This is going to go in my mouth. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Ugh. Ugh. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Mm. A very light initial crunch, it's nasty, vile, hit up front with seaweed. It's just like tasting the bottom of the ocean. Yuck. Is There's a hint of barbecue, like, uh, like um, 
almost reminds me of Sweet Baby Ray's brand barbecue sauce or the KC Masterpiece. Very, very sweet from the seasoning. But that initial taste when I hit my taste buds, seaweed, very, very, the seaweed itself is very tart. The, uh, the barbecue seasoning just is pulling a lot of weight, but it's not enough weight to get me to, to like that. As you notice, <laughs> I drank a lot of water to get that out of my mouth as quickly as possible, down into my esophagus and not back out. Onto my table. <laughs> ah, if you like seaweed, I think you would like this. If you're not a fan of seaweed, I don't think you'd like this. You might have a, a visceral reaction, like I almost did. Hmm. Yeah. I am thankful that it's just the one pouch. It's just the one roll in the one pouch. There's not that much left. So I can either stomach it, eat the rest of that, or try to mix it in with something else I have here in my kitchen, and then uh, get process it in my body. Yeah, ew. It, it, aftertaste is started off with uh, the barbecue, and now it's going back to the seaweed. The seaweed is coming back, that aftertaste. Mm, but it is fresh. I'll give it that. Fresh um, seaweed. <laughs> my body. <coughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, I will give the big roll, grilled seaweed roll. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to give this a 3.95. The only reason I'm going that, I'm giving it that, is because of the barbecue seasoning. That's what's saving the snack, folks. Otherwise, it would be down a uh, single digit of one. But with that seasoning, it kicks it up to that 3.97. Mm. Barbecue flavor seasoning. Ah, that's it. Soy. Soy sauce powder. That's helping. Mm. Ooh. Chili, sesame, mm. onion powder, garlic powder. Mm. Oh, that that helps. That barbecue seasoning helps. Mm, molasses. Here it is. <laughs> I'm going to put this in my mouth. Yeah, hey, baby. Oh. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Just as bad the second time. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Nasty. And it's just like I stuck my head underwater. Mm. I'm out of water. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm back, everybody. I went and got some more water. Mm. Yeah. Seaweed. Next up on this day's chest journey. Is the sour punk spaghetti? Hey, bro! Yeah, bro! <laughs> whoa, whoa, sir, sir! I'm going to need to. I need to ask you to calm down. Calm down. Huh. Gummy strings and strawberry, apple, lemon, and blue raspberry with fruits like limes and tamarind. So prevalent across the country, it's only natural that locals would acquire a taste for sour flavors. And kids especially love a sour kick to their sweets. Hence, these chewy. Fruity gummy strings with super sour crystals. This fun treat combines two of Thailand's key flavors, sweet and sour, into lip puckering 
candy that Thai kids and adults go crazy for. All right, yeah. Sour punk. Yeah. Well, bro, what up? In the house? <laughs> oh, that seaweed was nasty. The things I do for this channel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got humor. Uh, full disclosure. Uh, General Care Products Co. LTD is not a sponsor of this taste test video portion. The this 1.41 ounce bag has an expiration date of July 31st, 2025. I love the package, it's very vibrant. Mm -mm -mm. It stands out. Going to have some candy. Going to have a treat. Woo! I can. I can smell the sugar. It's very, very sweet. Ooh. Ooh, very tender. Mmm, gummy. Stringy. Cheers, everybody. Woo! Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Oh, my. Mm. Very chewy. Mm. Very soft. Very, very sweet. A lot of sugar. In terms of the the texture and the flavor profile, they remind me of the Lucas Squinkles. Salsa Yeti brand, mm, the that gummy candy. Mm. It almost reminds me of Sour Patch Kids in terms of the tartness, but it's not as bold, or I should say, it's not as tart as the Sour Patch Kids. But it very very sweet, mm, chewy, but it's fresh. Seems to be high quality. Mmm. Ooh. Whew. That'll wake up your taste bud. Mmm. Mmm. The flavor profile is spot on. I'm getting a mix of the strawberry, the lemon, apple, and a blue raspberry together. Mmm. Very, very satisfying. Mmm. Want some candy? Mmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Want some candy? Mm, not spicy at all. Uh, they're certainly not overwhelming. Mm, yum, yum, give me some. Yum, yum, give me some. Mm, and it seems like a great qual great quantity uh, for the quality for what was included. Uh, and there's still a lot left. And I took a big bite of the stringy. Mmm, Lucas Salsagetti. Oh, look at that. Mm. Oh, that'd be a good dessert. Mm, if you're making a, uh, go to an ice cream counter, and they have the ice cream buffet, and you can put all the different toppings on there. This'd be great. Mm, put it on some ice cream. Mmm, or just on its own. It's very, very sweet. Where I'm back in dessert territory. This is very refreshing after that experience with the seaweed. Oh, something, I deserve something sweet after that experience. On a scale of 1 to 10, I will give the Sour Punk a Spaghetto soft candy. I'm giving this a solid 9.69. Mm. Oh, what a treat. I just can't get enough. I'm going to... I'm going to have another strand here. It's going in my mouth. 
just like that. Mm. It is really sticky though. I need to go wash my hands. Mm. I'll be back. Ah, I'm back everybody. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here. <laughs> Chugging right along. Last up on today's test te taste test journey is the Thai coconut rolls roasted sweet corn. Crispy cookies with the flavor of Thai street corn. Coconut and corn might be unusual to some, but it's an iconic combination in Thailand. Bangkok's beloved street corn, Khao Pao Yang, gets a slathering of fresh coconut milk before it's tossed on the grill. Uh, something stuck in my... Yeah, yeah. There we go. Cow Pud Cluck is a sweet melody of corn kernels and shredded coconut that's enjoyed for dessert. These sweet and buttery corn coconut rolls bring the unique and prevalent Thai combination to life in cookie form. Mm. Roasted sweet corn. Yeah, here it is. This 1.06 ounce pouch has an expiration date of January 8th, 2025. If you've tried this, please let me know in the comments what your assessment of it is. I like the packaging, the colors. It's very vibrant, but it's also soothing. It reminds me of walking through corn socks on autumn afternoon. Maze time. <laughs> corn mazes are fun. <laughs> mm. Not the scary ones, just the regular old-fashioned corn mazes. Mm, it's for the children. Oh, very, very, mm, very sweet. Mm, smells like cream corn. Ah! Oh, peekaboo. I see you. Cheers, everybody. It's going on my mouth. Very satisfying initial crunch. The corn shines through. It's not greasy at all. It meshes well with the coconut. The coconut itself is also very fresh, very soothing undertone. In terms of the texture profile with the crunch, it reminded me exactly like fortune cookies. Mm, just the right amount of sweetness and the crunchy. Not salty at all. Mm, it'd be a this is a great dessert. Mm. On its own, I think this would work well by dipping these into a cup of hot cocoa or maybe to put drizzle on some Cool Whip whipped cream. Mm. Also, these almost remind me of uh, Chico sticks. I'm not sure if you've had those or, or are familiar with those. Uh, it's spelled C-H-I-C-K dash uh, slash O slash S-T-I-C-K. Mm. Those are also uh, coconut uh, based. Mm. Oh, this is, oh, this is so good. 
Ah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Very, very flaky. Mm. Whoop. Whoop, there's a piece. Whoop. Whoop. There's a piece. Mm. Oh. We're ending part one of this taste test video on a high note. That for sure. Savory and delicious. Great portion size. Mm, snack size bites. I like that. On a scale of 1 to 10, I will give the Thai coconut roll roasted sweet corn. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. When I say ending on a high note, I really mean it. Because I'm giving this snack a solid 10 out of 10. You heard it here first. I'm Fritz Hudson Fritz. Who knew? This is the United States. Uh, for, yeah. Oh, what a treat. Thank you so much for joining me. Stay tuned for part two of the May 2024 Universal Yums subscription box tasting from Thailand. I hope to get that up and running and not too in the too distant future. But part one, mm, what a variety of items. I really appreciate it. Expanding my taste test palette. Otherwise, well, otherwise I never would have had the opportunity to try these items. I've never even heard of some of them. That's in this box. So there you go. Mm. Until next time. See you then. Bye, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Safe travels. Did you see the Aurora Borealis last week? I did. I'll post some photos at the end of this video, even though they have nothing to do with this taste test segment. I just want to share with the world. Ta-da. Bye, everybody. This is good old Washington water. Mm. Wenatchee water. Ta-da.